don't know who this guy is. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> but he knows Moon Juice. Uh, my man, what's your name? I'm Darren. Darren. Nice to meet you, Darren. Good to meet you. Darren is my about my third or fourth fan. <laughs> Jerry's got 21,000 fans, but he didn't know Jerry. He knows Moon Juice. I like that. How do you feel about that? that? <laughs> I, I don't like this guy very much. <laughs> Where are we going, by the way? Um, Herman's Cave. Herman's Cave. Just a couple of guys shooting a little film of each other. You know, it's Hiking. a normal Saturday. Hiking with YouTubers. <laughs> did I, did I How weird. What do you think, Jerry? This is awesome. Man, I am in love with the superstitions. This is my favorite place, rugged. And today, it's full of running streams. It's so cool. Hey, Jerry, we're doing your favorite thing to do. Go up? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Are you loving it? I love it. All right, so this is Labarge Creek. This is uh, the upper Labarge box. And the Red Tanks Trail goes right up through this canyon. And there's our camp spot on that big rock. It's a little cozy. Well, it is cozy, but you know. So this is the part where I realized I didn't mark the path to get up to the cave. I figured we'd just figure it out. It's easy, huh? I mean, <laughs> the brush is totally overgrown. wonder why I haven't shown the trail up to the cave is because there is no trail up to the cave. No. You just have to bushwhack all the way and find your way. And it doesn't look easy, even from here, look. It looks horrible. The good news is, is look at this canyon. It's gorgeous, man. We got it all to ourselves. This is beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad it's hard to get to this cave, otherwise there would be 28 people up there taking selfies. Yep. <laughs> it's just gonna be us taking selfies. <laughs> this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jerry, yeah, you've been hiking a long time. Out here in the desert, if you were gonna come up with like the most bonehead thing you could do as a hiker in the desert, what would you say would be the number one stupidest thing anybody can do? I, you know, just walking straight into a cactus. <laughs> that would be that would be some dumb shit. <laughs> what kind of stupid idiot would do something like that? I mean, look at the size of the cactus. I mean, geez, <laughs> Louise. You know, in your defense, they did put the cactus right in the middle <laughs> of the trail. Hey, Jerry, duck right here. <laughs> <laughs> Cactus needle removal 101. Where is it, dude? It's, let's see, here. 
At least I hit my oh, head. Oh, I got it again. On a first try? Yeah, man. Oh, you have this now. Let me just I feel. got it now. I've pulled about 70,000 of his hairs out. Shaving my head was a mistake. It's the exact length mm -hmm. and, and color of a needle. I'm good, dude. You got it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Good morning. We had a pretty awesome night last night. Good campfire. The weather was perfect. Slept real well. Jerry's gonna nurse a moon juice hangover uh, this morning. But I'm fine. <laughs> what an awesome place out here. I didn't even know this was here. So get a load of this. If you go hiking with Jerry Arizona and the superstitions, you kind of expect that everybody's gonna know who Jerry Arizona is. So it was hilarious yesterday when the very first person we met had no idea who he was, but knew who I was. <laughs> what are the odds of that, you know? Well, today is a different story. We've already run into four people and we are batting a thousand. Every one of them has stopped Jerry Arizona to say hi and it's pretty funny <laughs> so now it's becoming a little game you know can we pass a hiker who doesn't know jerry arizona <laughs> 